Hi, my name is Christy Jarvis. I'm the Associate Director for Scholarly Communications at the Eccles Health Sciences Library. And today we're up in the History of Medicine room. The History of the Health Sciences collection is made up of books, manuscripts, photographs, artifacts, and medical instruments that have been gathered from Western society medicine over the past 500 years. It supports research into developing medical education in the United States, hospital care, military medicine, ethics, the development of drug interventions and other therapeutics. And it's open for researchers by appointment at any time. This collection has some very interesting items in it that I'd like to show you. Some of our special ones are this World War I battlefield surgery kit. You can see that it's, it rolls up in a nice tight canvas roll for easier transportation. Um, and the coolest thing about it, I think, are the drawings of where all the various instruments go so that when you're done, you know that everything has been put back and nothing has been left laying in the grass. This is a railway surgeon's kit. Many people don't realize that in the mid 1800s, the railway companies hired surgeons to ride the rails back and forth across the country to take care of passengers and their own employees. Uh, because inevitably somewhere uh, in the middle of the country, a woman would go into a labor or someone would have a heart attack and they needed someone to take care of them. So this little kit was what the, the physicians would carry with them. It has these little drilled spots. Um, where each individual item in the kit fits in and screws in so that as the physician is riding very rattling rails, instead of having their items in a black bag where glass things would break, they had these little kits with all of the items neatly tucked away. This is a Civil War era amputation kit. You can see how all of the knives and various instruments fit into these little velvet slots and there are layers in all of the various instruments needed by the surgeon. Are contained in this very handy little kit. Here's the most important tool, right? This pistol grip saw to take off someone's limb. We actually have two versions of this kit in the library. One of them has blood on the saw still. Our medical students like to come in and take a look at this kit and inevitably it sparks a debate over which is the most important advancement in medicine, anesthesia or antibiotics. Looking at this kit, whenever I see these giant saws, I find myself on team anesthesia, but I understand the importance of antibiotics. The library is always looking to expand this collection and we welcome donations from individuals who have artifacts or papers in their possession that are important for researchers to have access to to understand the history of medicine. Contact us anytime.